y'all. It's Jennifer. So it has been officially like literally two years since I stopped coloring my hair. 24 months. I literally cannot believe I made it 24 months because believe me, you, there were tons of times where I just wanted to throw in the towel and start coloring my hair again. And the one thing that kept me from doing that was the fact that all I had to think about was how often I was coloring my hair. And I mean, two weeks in and I wanted to color it again because you could see just the roots growing in. And then by three weeks, I was coloring it. So literally every three weeks, I was coloring my hair painting my life because it takes such a huge chunk of time to commit to coloring your hair every three weeks. Way too much. Um, so that was really the only thing that kept me going. Yeah. And I mean, and the fact that I wanted my hair to become healthy again. Uh, like, all of the coloring, all of the dyeing, I had tons of split ends, um, and I just really didn't like the way my hair felt, the way that it looked. Um, it was shiny. It was really shiny, I'll give you that. But I think it was really shiny because of all of the frequent coloring. It actually, surprisingly, did not take out the shine of my hair. Um, but, you know, there were lots of ups and downs. Some days it was a really sad situation. I'd really be depressed about my hair. And other days I was like, eh, what are you going to do? Just throw it back in a ponytail, forget about it, and move on. Um, so I don't even have bad days anymore. I think, or if I do, it's, you know, it's not even about my hair anymore. I don't ever get frustrated with the color, the way it looks. I do, I mean, I'll be honest, I do look at pictures of women and they have this gorgeous, rich, chocolate brown hair, or even pictures of me when I was in my 20s, just thinking, oh my God, to not have to color your hair, that, that's a gift. That hair color is a gift. Um, and I was blessed with that hair color and now I'm blessed with this. So this is what I have. Uh, you can still see there's quite a bit of growth. I mean, like it's two years, so about 12 inches of growth on my hair. You can still see the color right at the ends. Um, but literally the gray goes all the way down to the very end. And that's one thing I really want to talk about because people don't understand and I've even had a lot of cosmetologists, hairdressers message me saying it's permanent hair color. You won't be able to see the gray in it. It lasts forever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, no, I can see the gray all the way to the very tip of my tip of my hairs. You can see, you know, I don't know if you want to call them resistant grays or the color has now just faded away because there was a time like I was using a lot of oils in my hair to help strip the color out. And granted, you know, you're not necessarily stripping the color out. You're just kind of getting it to fade. Uh, and so if gray is underneath that faded dyed hair, then gray is what pops out. If uh, if brown is underneath it, then you kind of bleached the brown to this color now <clears throat> because hair dye has bleach in it. So, but yeah, I can see the gray. I have, you know, hair, like sporadic gray hairs that go all the way to the very tip of my hair. And you know what, guys? Every time my hair has gotten this long, this is such a great benefit stopping the dye, not coloring your hair anymore. I have no split ends. I mean, literally, I, I have no split ends. And that fact amazes me. 
I, I do honestly take better care of my hair. I'm not using the hair dryer as much. I wash my hair in cooler water. And I think that has actually made the biggest improvement in the texture, the smoothness, the moisture level of my hair is washing it in cooler water. And I'm not talking about cold water being uncomfortable. Um, it's September here in Texas. And so literally the groundwater is not cold anymore. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but it's nowhere near cold. It's not hot, but it's just like cool, lukewarm kind of water that I wash my hair in. I can turn on the cold faucet and um, wash my hair in that with just a little bit of hot water mixed in it. And it still gets clean. It's very, you know... I don't know, but yeah, so the split ends, the fact that the fact that I do not have any just totally amazes me, and I have trimmed my hair during this two year process. At one point, I took off six inches um, and then just an inch, a few inches here and there during the process. So I have just a little bit left to go, and I told myself I would go the full two years. See what I wanted to do with my hair and then make the decision to cut it or do I just continue to let it grow and honestly I keep thinking I want to cut it I see really cute pictures of girls you know uh, you know right around there and then I'm like you know what I really like my hair I I like this link it is now back to a link that I like this length and then maybe just a few more inches are my favorite length of hair. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I said I might cut my hair when you get when I got to this point and now I still don't know what I'm going to do. Most likely I'm just going to continue to let it go grow, get another good trim in um, in a month maybe and then go from there. So because two years, I was going to do two years of gray hair videos, and then that was going to be it. Uh, but now I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I mean, two years, there's really, I mean, in the past few months that I've made these videos, there's not really much to say anymore. There's not really much to tell. My feelings haven't changed. My emotions haven't changed about the hair. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to do these or not. I might, like if I cut my hair. Um, but this very well may be one of the last just about um, the process of growing out my hair unless I decide to cut it. So, who knows. Well, I mean, it's really, it's really healthy. I take, I try to take really good care of my hair. I wash it maybe twice a week, like I said, in cooler water. Um, and then, you know, I try not to use, I was using hot, hot appliances on it, and I try not to do that anymore. Like, if I blow dry my hair, I'll take uh, Velcro rollers and roll my hair up in it. I actually just took the Velcro rollers out just maybe an hour ago so it's still really full of body and this will last me like a few days uh literally i wash my hair twice a week <laughs> uh, and it looks pretty good during the week the only thing and i have had to stop using the hot appliances because when i do them where i want to use the hot appliances it's like right here and then right here and those are the hairs that break off right where I want to use the hot appliances. So, like literally on this part, because I used to part my hair the majority of the time, like over here. And I have all of these tiny, itty bitty short hairs now because they just went and decided they're going to break off. <laughs> you don't need to be using hot appliances on your hair anymore, Jennifer. So we're just going to decide to break off. <laughs> Did I break off? Yeah. So I tried just to use Velcro rollers, and the Velcro rollers 
quickly to smooth out my hair. Um, so I don't really need to use hot appliances on my hair anymore. Like, I love Velcro rollers. I love Velcro rollers. I can dry my hair and put the rollers in my hair and really get smooth, gorgeous hair. Or I can even use them in wet hair. It takes a really long time to dry. But even with that, I still get smooth hair. So because my hair isn't like the prettiest, just air drying and letting it be. But with the Velcro rollers, I love my hair. Love my hair. So I guess that's about it. If you have any questions, please comment me down below. Um, and stay tuned. Who knows what will happen or where my channel will progress to. If you'd like to still see videos about the process of growing out my hair, comment that down below too. Please subscribe, like, thumbs. Love those. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.